Hello everyone, and welcome to the first ever Pokemon challenge between me and Vaccination. Vaccination dude, what's up? What's going on, everybody? I'm, I'm doing great today. I'm uh, ready for this challenge. Awesome. So guys, the premise of this challenge is basically we're in the Hoenn region. We're going to spin a random spinner, and then we're going to get three routes each randomly. And then we're going to get 100 encounters in those routes. And then at the very end, after we've caught a Pokemon in each route, we can go ahead and we can battle with those Pokemon. There's going to be a specific rule set in the description down below. You guys can check out the rules specifically if you want to play along or if you just want to make sure that we're following the rules. Now, um, vaccination dude, how do you feel about the challenge today? I love it. I can't wait. I'm hoping for some good luck. Yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be really good. Now, guys, I do have to say this. If you do like today's episode and you want to see more, you actually can right now. Vaccination has actually uploaded the other episode on his YouTube channel and you can click the link in the description down below or you can click the link up in this little card in the top right corner of the screen. So guys, go ahead and click that right now or later if you wanna watch it after this episode. All right, so I guess it's time to go ahead and spin. I'm gonna let Vaccination spin first, dude, um, since he's the, the guest of the episode today. Now remember guys, this is one of three routes each. Um, we're going to take turns spinning. Uh, he's going to spin one, then I'm going to spin one until we each have three routes. Um, so let's go ahead and click this, spin it, and see what route vaccination's going to get to go to. And let's see what he gets. Ooh, is it going to make it? And yeah. All right, so it looks like you got route 117, dude. Write that down. 117, love it. Nice. I don't even know what Pokemon spawn there. <laughs> like, I don't even know where that's at, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess it's my turn now. So uh, here we go. Uh, let's see what route I get. Hopefully this is pretty good. And oh, hopefully I get this one. I want this one really bad. I got Granite Cave. Yes. Oh, nice. let's go. Um, let's see here. Next, let's see. Um, your next route is going to be. Spin it for me, good. Oh, I think this is a good one. And yeah, you got Rustboro Forest. Rustboro Forest. I hope Thank you get you. a Shroomish. I know Shroomish spawns there. Slakeoff <laughs> spawns there, dude. You might get lucky. Dude, I hope so. Now, what's going to be crazy in this challenge is um, if uh, we look in the chat and one of us has caught an ER or a Shiny or something, <laughs> that'd be insane. <laughs> that'd be nuts. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and spin my next one here and see what I get. My second route is going to be route i think it's gonna go over yep it did route 117 is mine all right vaccination this is your last route dude um let's make it a good one yeah hope hopefully it's not a good one though <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> um it's gonna you just miss the fiery path and you got route 123 uh, 120 one two three love it all right so um i got one more route left let's go ahead and go all right, I'm going to land on route 101. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> okay, so just to clarify, again, I'm going to be going to Granite Cave, route 117, route 101, vaccination. Which routes are you going to? I'm going to route 117, I'm going to Rustboro Forest, and I'm going to route 123. Nice. So once again, guys, the rules are in the description below. For the rest of the video, until the final battle, we are going to be splitting it up and having separate cameras. Um, so that way we don't hear each other. And it's kind of a surprise when we get to the very end. Um, so let's go on into the challenge. All right, guys, I am currently in Granite Cave. So this is my first area. As you can see here, I have had 7,362 common encounters. So the way we're going to keep track of this is we each get 100 common encounters in each of the routes that we found. Um, so at 7,462 is what I meant to say, um, is when I'll end this, this area and go to the next one. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, type slash Pokemon and see what Pokemon spawn here. We have Graveler, Golbat, uh, Abra, Makuhita, Aaron, Nosepass. Um, so the common, I guess, that I might take from this area is going to be Graveler. Um, so I can get Stealth Rocks and stuff up so if he switches in and out, I think that's the best route to go with that. Golbat, a Crobat could be good. Um, but I don't I don't feel like doing a, 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 a crowbat right now and any of the VRs if I get Abra, Makuhita, Aeron, as long as I don't get Nosepass, then I'll be good. If I get Mawile, then that's gonna be insane. 
Um, but basically my plan is to just go ahead and catch a few gravelers. Um, I'm sure they're going to be using like, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put the uh, power band on my Absol here so I can one shot some Pokemons and uh, just get this going. Yeah, so I guess I'll just be running away from the Golbats. Does that increase? I think that does increase the encounters. I don't think you have to kill them. 363, yep. Okay. All right, so um, I don't know how many Gravelers I'm going to catch, but I guess I will, uh, I guess I'll catch a few of them just so I can get the right natures and right IVs and stuff. Um, we're not allowed to use Sync Pokemon in this challenge. I think that's the, the best route to go with, but I'm only finding Golbats right now. Where are all the Gravelers at? Wait, maybe there are more Pokemon deeper in the cave. Let's go ahead and check that out. I guess I'll go ahead and catch this first Graveler. Um... Yeah, it's going to use self-destruct or something, probably. It actually didn't use self-destruct. Now, that's going to be the problem, is um, them using self-destruct. I do have some repeat balls, and so I'm going to use ultra balls. And there we go. We actually caught our first Graveler, and it's timid, which is awful. Um, but look at those IVs, dude. Why can't we get that on, like, another one? This got sturdy. Um, I'll keep this. I'm just going to... How many Pokemon do I have? I have six. Um, I need to empty out a spot so I can just keep releasing the Gravelers that I don't want. All right, what's going on, everybody? We have finally arrived to our first route, 117. I like to go in order. I like to, uh, I like to follow the rules. I don't, I don't want to go out of order of our routes. So how we're tracking this is by using our encounters. We're gonna go 100 common encounters. Wow, we almost had that perfect hundred. So we need to stop at 50,201. But, but. Let's see what we can get here, because we might not stay here this whole time. Ooh, there's a lot. Um, And we can fish. Lyoon, Oddish, Meryl. Oh, I kind of want an Oddish. No, I want a Meryl. Mm. A Mareep would be nice. A Heracross, Skarmory. <laughs> that would all be very nice, too. But uh, let's see. Oh, or we can get a Gyarados. Oh, shoot. That's rough. Well, we're already... Oh, Meryl or Gyarados. You know what? I think we're going to go for Gyarados. I think we're just gonna go for it. Let's just get it. Let's just get this out of the way. We're just gonna catch our Pokemon. Okay. You know what? You know what? Meryl came to us. Meryl. I, I'm a. Uh, I'm a very. Um. I like to. I like to just make my mind and just get it. I like to just do it. I'm getting Meryl. Like uh, level 69. Pretty nice. Um. So we're just gonna catch Meryl right here, and that's what we're using. I'm. I'm so confident. Like I wanted a Meryl. Like when I said Gyarados, I was just. Look at that. Look at the- okay, okay. Look how much of a beast this thing is. He just did 70% to us. You know what? I make up my mind and I stick to it. One encounter, that's all we needed for this route. This route's easy. I'm gonna take a Meryl. I'm gonna take a Meryl and I'm gonna luck. okay. Look, this thing won't even stay in an Ultra Ball. I should probably weaken it a little bit. And we caught the Meryl! Let's go! All right! On to the next route, everybody! Nice. I just got the second Graveler. This one is... Neutral nature, um, sand veil. Okay, I'll just keep catching gravelers and I'll just keep getting run out of timid ones better, in my opinion. Um, and there's the third graveler caught. This one is lax and it's defensive to the roof. It's also sand veil. We need a sturdy one. Um, I think sturdy is the best nature. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this lax one. Hey, another graveler and it's sturdy. This one's serious, so. Ooh, and these IVs, especially in defense, are very good. The attack one is literally just one point lower. So, yeah. So, this is the new, new. This right here is the new, new. At least it doesn't have a negative attack nature, you know? So, it's definitely better. How much better is it attack? Yeah, it's like a, way more attack points. All right. So, there we go. That's our Graveler so far. And we have arrived. The next stop on our adventure, Petalburg Woods, or better known as Rustboro Forest. So, let's check our encounters before we get started. We are at... 50,102. Let's check the Pokemon that can be caught here. Lyoon, Beautify, Dustox, Parasect, Talo, Poochiana, Shroomish, Scyther, and Pinsir. I think those are kind of pipe dreams. We could hope for the best. Guys, your boy here is... Let me, let me write this down so I don't forget. Your boy here is feeling a little regretful. I kind of... On the way here, I kept thinking about it, and I'm like... Okay, that's not what we want. A Lyoon. Uh, no. Um, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, man, a Meryl. Like, 
I I like Mar dust ox. That's I'm in consideration to get a dust, but he's only uncommon. We'll get more. I really, really on the way here. I was like, you know what? I could have went. Oh, Taylo. I'm gonna catch it. Um, I feel like I definitely wanted a Meryl, but then I thought about it. I should have caught more to try to get a better one. I was just so blown away by how strong that one was. Oh, we got the Taylo. Let's go. That's already one in the bag. Um. Oh, another one. Let's go. So, I kind of regret doing that. I wish I would have uh, tried to catch more more Merrells at least, and then I could have decided later. But uh, you know, um, yeah, I'm gonna catch a couple Talos. Let's see what else. I call. I'm gonna catch a couple Talos. Oh, Dustox. I apologize. Is common, not uncommon. We're kind of hoping for a Shroomish here. That's kind of the goal. If we don't get a Shroomish. I will be happy with Taylo. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys if we find anything special. Another Graveler. Nice, nice. This one is Rockhead. Oh, man. I don't need Rockhead because I'm not going to be using it. If I use Moose like Double Edge, then it has recoil. So, it could keep me from that. So, maybe I will keep this one. Um, his attack is very, very high. Just one point lower than that one. The EVs are also very, very good on this one. Obvies are very, very good on this one. So I'm going to keep this Graveler for now. Um, I think Sturdy... I'm going to keep this other one too. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And keep these two for now. I'm probably going to go with this Rockhead one. Rockhead's not, a, not such a bad... Sturdy's good. I don't know if I'll get one-shotted. This is just in case I do get one-shotted. Okay, so I don't think we're going to be finding a Graveler um, that's much better than this. The docile nature is okay. Um, since we're not looking for perfect, we got perfect uh, max health, um, which is awesome. Uh, the attack is pretty pretty huge, um, and our defenses are through the roof. Our special attack, we don't need that at all. So these are really, really, really good IVs. And uh, Rockhead, we're going to be able to use moves like Double Edge, which is 120 power um, and has 33% recoil. So now it doesn't have any recoil, um, which we can just go ahead and use that move anytime. I think I'm going to keep Stone Edge, go for Double Edge, and uh, probably keep Earthquake, and then also have um, Stealth Rocks here. So that's the plan. Um, we're going to evolve it into a Golem later, um, but let's go ahead and go to the next route, which is Route 117. All right, boys, we made it to Route 117. If you guys don't know where this is on the map, I'll go ahead and open it up right here. It's between um, Verdon Turf Town and uh, Mobville City. Um, let's see what Pokemon spawn in this area. I'm actually very curious to see if there's anything that I can use here. Um, so we're able to fish. We're able to um, look in the grass. And I guess we're able to surf. So we got Linoon as the common. Uncommons are Oddish, Meryl, and Surskit. Um, Meryl might be a good option. Um, and then C Dot would be good too as a rare if I could get that. And the VRs are Mary Benatu, which would be insanely great to have, um, but they are VRs. Let's look in the water before we do anything. Um, we can get a Gyarados, and Gyarados is literally always good. Um, I think Gyarados is probably the smartest thing to go for here. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go for a Gyarados. If I do run into a Corefish, um, I might catch it because Corefish could be very, very good, a good sweeper, and having a dark type Pokemon might lead to an advantage. Um, uh, he had Petalburg Woods. If he finds a Shroomish, um, that's going to be rough. If he finds a, what else would he find? Um, I don't remember what routes he had. He had some pretty good ones, though. I think he had better routes than I did. Um, but let's go ahead and start hunting for a Gyarados. Okay, first Gyarados is going to be Moxie um, with really pretty good IVs. Um, but I think. In this situation, we're just using three Pokemon. I think having Intimidate is going to be better because we can just switch in and out um, depending on what Pokemon he has. Um, so I think Intimidate is going to be a good a good Pokemon to have. Um, so I'll just keep this one for now. It has pretty good IVs. Um, and we're going to go ahead and keep hunting and see if we can find one. And there's a Goldeen, dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot to see what my encounter rate was so we can know when to stop. We get 100 encounters in each location. So it was 7. I didn't use all encounters from last time. Um... So, yeah, so we're starting at 411, so we'll end at 511 if we even use all 100 encounters. Um, but let's continue hunting. And we found the Pokemon we were looking for, the second most, besides the ERs. We got a Shroomish. 
Let's go. What what is that? How many encounters are we in? We're in about 32 encounters. And we already got our shroomish. Let me double check. I believe he's a rare. We already got a rare shroomish. Oh, I'm pretty sure you cannot spore a grass type. So we're just going to toss some balls and hope for the best. I should have brought a false wiper. That was a little misstep by me. Oh, man, I thought we were going to get it. I'll be right back when we catch it, everybody. And we have successfully acquired Pokemon number two of our party. Shroomish, welcome to the squad. We now have Meryl and Shroomish. He has no idea what's coming for him. Uh, I'm going to stick around just in case we find another one that may be better or a Scyther or a Pinsir. That would be very nice. But uh, I'm not going to hold my breath, nor should you guys. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the rest of our encounters heal real quick. So uh, I'll get back to you if anything happens. We're back, everybody. Um, we are at fifty thousand two hundred and one. We have one final encounter. So I wanted to save it for you guys. You know, we're about to get a shiny Scyther real quick. Okay, it's a Beautifly. So that's it for this route. We are headed to the next stop. All right, next Gyarados. This one is calm. Um, we might go for a defensive Gyarados build. Um, so. This one isn't too bad. It's minus attack, though, so we don't want that. And it also has zero attack. So this is literally as bad as Gyarados' attack can get. Um, so no, that's going to be a no-go for me. Next Intimidate Gyarados is bold. This is not what we want. We do, I think we want Calm. I think Calm was the right nature that we wanted. Or um, whatever nature is. Is it Impish? I think Impish is the best. This one has really bad IVs, dude. This is getting released ASAP. Um... Alright, we have, I don't know how many encounters we have left, but I'm going to continue to go. Another Intimidate Gyarados. Alright, so I'm I'm sure that he is literally catching everything right now. Like, I'm sure he's got the best Pokemon right now. I feel like I feel like my strategy is pretty good, um, but I feel like he's going to have something up his sleeve that I don't know about. Alright, Gyarados is another bold one with Awful. Still, dude, that is literally the worst attack you could have. It is so bad. It is so bad. I'm going to catch just a few more Gyaradoses. Um... This is getting a little upsetting. I don't want to stay forever here. And Corefish isn't really worth it. Um, I think Intimidate Gyarados is the way to go for this for this challenge. Um, with the routes that I've been given. Um, so I think we have some pretty good Pokemon. And we have a Jolly one here. Uh, with really bad IVs. That first one, this Brave one, was one of our first uh, catches. Besides the defense, has really amazing IVs. Max HP again. I think our other Pokemon have max HP, so we're going to have 31 IV HP in both Pokemon, um, which you cannot complain about. All right, so I think this is my last Gyarados I catch. Docile, and yeah, it's pretty garbage. Uh, we're just going to go with the Brave Gyarados, even though its defense is pretty awful and it has minus speed. Um, this is probably going to be one of the better ones that I get in the, the time lot. Let's see how many encounters I used, because I don't feel like sitting here forever. Um, we started with, uh, we yeah, barely used any of our encounters, looks like. Um, yeah, is Gyarados slash? Yeah, Gyarados is a common, yeah, so it definitely is a common Serpent, yeah. So we've only used like 10 encounters. Um, but I think that's enough. I'm, I'm confident with this Gyarados that I think this is going to be the one that I use. Um, yeah, Intimidate. I feel like that's the right way to go. Um, but is it minus again? Minus speed. We don't need speed as much, especially if we do Dragon Dance. Um, so I think Dragon Dance, and then I don't really know what I'm going to go with on these. I guess Aqua Tail, if it can learn that. When I go to the Movie Learner, we'll see what, what kind of options we have there. Um, but I guess the next route is Route 101, which is literally the first route in um, the Hoenn region. Um, I feel like it's going to have very, very limited limited encounters um hopefully we can find something that can fit into our team though i'll see you guys when i get there and we have arrived to our final destination route 123 let's see where our encounters are at 50,202 see what we can catch here oh latios that would <laughs> we might stay the whole hundred for sure we might uh we might come away with a Latios. That sounds nice. Um, oh, the pickings are not very good on this one. Oh, I hate to go for another water type. Oh, Gyarados is nice, though. I think Oddish, another grass type. I don't, we don't want that either. Oh, no, this is not good. 
A Keckly. Oh man, we have to go all the way around. Oh goodness. Uh, a Kecleon, maybe? We might have to go with double water type. Oh shoot, Marty! Come on, Marty! And we have arrived again to Route 123. My encounters are a little higher because I ran into a couple Pokemon on the way here. So we are now at 5206. So my decision on what I want to catch is not any easier. The only things are kind of grass and water. So what I think we're going to do is we're just going to get a Latios. I mean, or is it Latias? I don't remember which one, but we'll, we'll just get one of those real quick and just call it a day, you know? <laughs> no, um, I think I'm going to catch a couple Oddishes. And then I'm going to, oh, oops, shoot, <laughs> my bad. Um, and then I'm going to catch a couple Gyaradoses. And, you know, I'm just going to see what, see what, actually, yeah, I'm going to do that and see what we like. Wow, we got a very rare, oh, no, unfortunately, it's a Whalmer and wasn't like an Absol or a Mighty Anna or something. Oh, man, I kind of, I kind of want to bring Whalmer for the flex, but, like, I don't know if he's gonna- I don't know if he's the best Pokemon for a PvP challenge. Um, oh man, I'm gonna catch him. You know, he's a very rare. Uh, we'll see when we get back, but, um, at this point, I have- I caught one Oddish, and I have probably, like, 15 Gyaradoses. I'm sure one of them will be good, so, uh, we're gonna be coming to a close here. We might- we might end a little early on the encounters, because if, if we're just- I mean, huh? Getting a VR, I don't know. Maybe my luck's feeling a little good right now, but uh, yeah. Um, I, th I think we're gonna end very soon. We got a VR, which is really lucky. Unfortunately, it's a Whalmer, but uh, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll come back on the next thing I do. All right, guys. So this is the last route of the episode. I'm really wondering what his team's gonna look like. I'm I'm kind of confident in my team right now. So this Gyarados, my inventory, forgot to put it up, but that's okay. We've still got two spots left to catch Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch to local chat and see. Um. What kind of Pokemon spawn here? Um, okay, not very much at all. Um, we can still get Meryl. We can get Wurmple and Linoon uh, Noctowl. Now, let's see. Um, two of our Pokemon are... If we get um, Noctowl or Meryl, then, and we have Gyarados with it, that's going to be two Pokemon weak to electric. I don't want anything like super weak. Um, Linoon might be the go-to Pokemon for this. If I get Pineco... I think um, I'll be too defensive if I get Pineco. Lotad or Poochiana will be good. Mary Tangla, Pharaoh Seed. Any of those ERs or VRs are going to be really appreciated. Um, let's see. Let's see our encounters. Uh, we're starting at um, 7,426. So at 7,526 is our max encounter. That's 100 encounters. Um, we have to stop encountering once we get to that number. But if I decide that... Um, I don't want to, I'm gonna catch these. Cause you never know what you're gonna get. You never know if you can get Beautifly or Dustox. Um, I would want Dustox maybe. If he does get Shroomish, this will be a perfect Pokemon, like a po perfect counter Pokemon. Gyarados is also good against Shroomish. Um, but maybe I'll catch this. I'll Thunderwave it and I'll throw some balls and stuff at it. Um, but I don't know. I'm probably gonna go for Linoon, but we'll see um, what route I decide to go on here. I don't, I don't really know what I wanna do. Okay, first Wurmple caught. It is Rash plus special attack, and its IVs are very decent. Um, Shield Dust. I don't know what a, this turns into like a different ability or something. Um, we'll keep this Wurmple for now. We'll keep it for now and see uh, what direction we go into. And here's the first Linoon. We'll actually catch this Linoon. Um, I know they can't hold berries in this game, which sucks, man. Because then we can't use held items anyways in these challenges, so it doesn't even really matter. Um, so I don't even know what ability Linoon can have. I'll check the Pokedex. Maybe the Pokedex knows what ability it can have. Gluttony, yeah, that's the one I know about. Um, we have a hardy nature. Um, so there's that Linoon. I'm not really satisfied with that Linoon at all. Okay, so Linoon can have Pickup and Gluttony, which neither of those actually help anything. And Dustox can have Shield Dust and Beauty Fly has Swarm, um, which I don't know what it does. That's the bug move stuff. But we do have Shield Dust, so I think that means that we're going to get um, the other Pokemon. This Pokemon is not affected by the secondary effect of another Pokemon's attack, so it can't be... I guess it can be flinched, burned, or paralyzed or something. That's pretty good. I think Dust Talks is definitely the way to go. Um, so, I'm going to catch uh, Wurmples, and I guess if they have Shield Dust, then I guess that means it's going to be a... Uh, 
yeah, a dust talk. So let's continue catching Wurmples. I think Wurmple is the way to go on this route. So let's continue catching them. Okay, so we actually just got a Meryl. Um, so for the Merrills, I'm actually going to catch them um, just to look at them and stuff. Maybe I'll go with a Meryl if I get a good one. Because um, you, it's it's actually a good Pokemon. It really is, and you can't you can't deny the the strength and stuff. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're we're definitely gonna try to catch it if we can get a huge power and adamant or something like that. That'd be insane. All right, get in the ball, dude. Okay, Meryl has been captured, and yeah, this is awful. Oh, it's fairy type. So having a fairy type would be pretty powerful too. Um. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about Meryl. I'm just going to continue on the Wurmples. I think Wurmple is the correct path to go for this one. Another Shield Dust one, and this one has max special attack IVs. Um, minus speed, plus 10 defense. How much stronger is its attack? Special attack. Okay, it's faster than that one. Not faster than that one. Special attack is way higher on this one. This Wurmple might be the one we go with right now. Um... This one's more defensive than this one. We're just gonna we're gonna get rid of this one for sure now. Um, now we gotta pick between these two Wurmples here, which I'm just gonna go with the one with the better stats. To be honest, I don't know if we want to have better special attack or better um, defenses. It's really it's really on the fence. Get it, boys? On the fence. All right, everybody, and this is going to be our last Gyarados we catch. We are at. Let me see. 50,239. We didn't go through many encounters, but I don't think we need to. I was th I'm thinking really hard about it, because I think Gyarados overall will be the better Pokemon. But uh, we gotta flex the big boy, uh, Whalmer. I don't know how we cannot use him, but oh man, it's tough. We, we have a tough decision coming up. Maybe we won't get any, maybe none of the Gyarados we caught will be good. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, honestly, because uh, I, I really want an excuse to use that Whelmer. Um, so when I get back to the Pokemon Center, I will be back with you guys. All right, guys, we made it to the PC. Now, let's see what we got. Let's check out our Pokemon. Um, well, <laughs> we already know Meryl's on the team. Let's uh, get rid of some of these bad boys. Okay. All right, well, we know Meryl's on the team, so we're stuck with Meryl. I, I, I hate to say that. Let's, 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 all right. Jolly, okay, huge pop. 28 HP, 14 attack, oh, four speed. Wow, it's pretty good. I knew I should have went with my gut, except the speed. Don't look, the, the, the cursor's covering the speed. Don't, don't look at the speed, but every, look at that. It's, it's not bad. All right, all right I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Okay, we'll check the Talos now. Uh, quiet, yeah, no. Um, lonely, <sighs> no. Lonely again? No. These poor Talos relax. No. Relax. Uh oh. Whoo! Oh, timid. Ah. Mm oh my goodness! This thing! Whoo! Timid with. Oh man, I don't remember. Does. I was looking at Whale Lord's moveset. To swallow speed special. Ah, it's got a little bit more attack, but. Ah, oh, Brave Bird. Oh, it has Air Slash, though. Huh! We might make a special Talo. Sounds nice. Where's that at? Where'd that Taylor go? Did I miss it? Oh, I skipped over the Shroomish. We'll save that for last. Right now, we're going with Taylor for now. Right now. My old Jolly. Oh! Ah, no. Four attack, six speed. But it was Jolly. That would have been so nice. All right, let's check Shroomish. Oh, my God. It's Jolly. Oh, Taylor. I think I'm sorry. Yeah, Taylor. I'm so sorry. You were, you were a good thought for a minute. But we're going with Shroomish. Oh, man. Whoo, that's a good Shroomish. Oh, man. I promise you guys, I did not cheat. <laughs> All right, so no Leon. All right, so now the big decision. Oddish. Ah, uh, yikes. Gyarados, 28-8. Quiet. Not. Uh, what's Naughty again? Okay, we can use Naughty. 15-4. Quirky. 18-28. No. 19-25. Oh, let's check the Whalmer. Gentle. Uh... I mean, okay, I mean. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to bring the Whalmer. I really do, but then. That's that's just. 2818, Hasty, and Moxie. I feel like getting a Gyarados is taking the easy way out. I feel like that's just saying, like, uh, I do want to win, though. I feel like that's so cheap. Like, you can get Gyarados anywhere, but. 
Mm, this is tough. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Wilmer or Gyarados? You know what? It's the first chap. I'm bringing the VR. Huh? I, I, I don't know. I can't just. I don't know. As much as I want to win, as much as I want to win this first challenge, we gotta go with Wilmer. We have to go with the VR. We, we got a VR in like how, 30 and 20 encounters. We're, we're going with the big. We're going with the big Shababa. Look at that freaking tank. Oh, my, look at He's smiling. He knows. We're a Pokemon master. We'll win with anything. It doesn't even matter. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to go level up my Pokemon, evolve them real quick. Um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I think this is the new best Wurmple. It does have um, less special attack. Well, actually, it has more special attack. This is the strongest one by far um, because it has good nature and good IVs. Um, so this one we're going to keep right now. It is Shield Dust. Um, it's a better defensively. It's just better all around than all the Wurmples combined. So let's go ahead and release the other ones. And then this is going to be the one we have right now. Let's keep looking though. All right, we got two more Wurmples. Um, Shield Dust, careful, not too great, and relaxed. Okay, so I think we're going to keep the quiet Shield Dust one from before with the insane special attack, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be the Pokemon one we go with. I'm going to go ahead and release these two. And yeah, so we have our three Pokemon. Um, I guess it's time to go take them to the move relearner. Well, actually, first, I need to evolve them all. So let's go ahead and get Wurmple evolved all the way up. And um, let's get uh, our other Pokemon leveled up all the way as well. All right, perfect. So uh, Demonk, um, I asked him. I've been asking everybody to trade, but he finally uh, agreed to evolve my Pokemon. So thank, thankful for him. Um, he can definitely evolve it and um, get it to me. Thank you very much, Demonk. Thank you very, very much. And there we go, boys. There's our Golem. Um, I guess we can go ahead and take it on to the next area. We're going to go ahead and uh, level up Wurmple now and evolve Wurmple into Dustox. And that shouldn't take too long. We'll go ahead and put an EXP share on Wurmple. Um, and then I guess we're going to go ahead and just grind, grind in the grass for two levels. Okay, there we go. Wurmple is level 41 now. And boom, it evolved into Cascoon. Yep, perfect. This is the one that evolves into uh, um, Dustox, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think for sure it is Cascoon. Silcoon is the one that evolves into Beautifly. Um, there's actually a Beautifly right there. Um, so let's go ahead and um, level this up. It's leveling up pretty fast, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, and with that right there, we're going to evolve our Cascoon into a beautiful Dustox. Nice, 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 nice. Special attack is uh, pretty good. Um, his physical attack isn't too far from that, so I hope we went in the right direction. I hope it's a special attacker. I think it is, um, but that's going to be it. Let's go ahead and get the EXP share off of this thing. Um, all of our Pokemon are now fully evolved. Let's go ahead and get to Island 2 and um, get these bad boys their moves and just kind of like think of a plan. That's a pretty well-balanced team. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to Island 2, though, and check out what moves we can put on them. All right, we're at the Move Tutor on Island 2. Uh, let's go ahead with Dust Talks here. We have Quiver Dance. Uh, oh, it has Toxic. That is a huge move. We have to go Toxic. Um, it, ha it has Moonlight, so it can actually heal itself. So I think Toxic Moonlight is important for that. All right, um, what other moves could we run here? We could set up Light Screens. We could Whirlwind. Once we get Rocks set up, we could use Whirlwind to just do whatever. Um, we could Protect. I think maybe Protect might be a viable option there. We're going to go ahead and run Protect. Toxic, um, Moonlight, and then we need one, we need a move. We have Psybeam, and that might be our best move. We have Silver Wind, though. Um, let me check the, let me check the power on Silver Wind here. Silver Wind is a bug, is 60 power, 10 accuracy. It has a 10% chance to raise all stats. Um, let's, let's just go back and look. What attacking moves could we use here? We might have to go for Psy Beam, because um, Psychic is pretty effective against everything. We have Bug Buzz, though. Let's learn Bug Buzz right now, and let's check that out. Bug Buzz is 90 power. Um, it lowers, has a 10% chance to lower special defense. Now, I think that might be the move set. We go for that. If he does have Shroomish or any Grass-type Pokemon, that is going to shred through that. And Toxic is huge. Um, but let's go ahead and do Golem next. Um, yeah, here we go, Gullop. 
Alright, he already has Earthquake. He has Stealth Rock. I think he has Stealth Rock. I think Stealth Rock is the only move we need to add, actually. Um, Let's see. What do we have here? Yeah, let's go ahead and go for Stealth Rock here. And we'll put that over Explosion. The rest of his moves are insane. Um, he's going to be a hard hitter. Let's go ahead and go into Gyarados here and um, see what moves we can give Gyarados. Gyarados currently has some pretty trash moves. Now, I think Dragon Dance can probably stay. Um, it has to learn Aqua Tail. That's got to be its best water move for sure. Um, Crunch, in case he has anything weak to Dark Top. Um, dude, that might be literally... Yeah, we might have to go Ice Fang for its other move. I think Ice Fang might be the way to go. Yep, we're going to go ahead and go Ice Fang, get rid of Hurricane, and then Aqua Tail, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Dragon Dance is going to be our move set uh, for Gyarados. Um, I, we have a pretty good move set. We have a status Pokemon. We have the rocks to set up. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and head over to um, Slateport City where we started the video and meet up with our friend Vex. All right, guys. So how I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to go to the Easter event and bring a... I'm only going to bring one at a time since uh, it'll scale to my team's level. So And so I don't get any IVs I'm, or EVs. I'm going to use a uh, expansion share. I'm going to go to the Easter event uh, that's going on for the next couple of days. And the Pokemon there... Oh, perfect. There's PCs already here. The Pokemon will scale to my Pokemon's level. Okay, not greatly, I guess. It's only 65. But um, when we kill these, we will be getting experience from the expansion chair onto our Meryl. So I'll be back once uh, we get some evolving. Okay, guys. It's time for the big evolution. Meryl has reached level 41. And yes, we now... Have an Azumarill. Thanks. Shout out to Dan Pilo. If I'm saying that right, for doing the altar, because that makes this so much quicker. All right, I'll get back to you guys once we have all of our next Pokemon. And our Shroomish has reached level 41, and it is time for him to blossom into a Breloom. One more Pokemon to go. One more encounter, and our Whalmer will turn into a Whale Lord. And I cannot be more excited. This boy better do his part. Um, um, oh, look how cute. Oh, man. We now have a whale lord. Oh, that is going to be such a flex. And I am so excited. It is time to put the whole squad together. Let me throw back in my Gyarados, Gengar, Xerneas, Shed Ninja, Alakazam. And we'll take out our Azumarill and our Bray. Oh, look at this gang. Look how much of a flex this whale. Oh, my. Look at that. Look how big he- oh man, was that his fit? Was that his mouth? Look how cute. Oh my goodness. He does not stand a chance. Look how large it is. Now guys, we need to put on the moves that we want. Let me see. For, well, Azumarill's physical. We'll start with that because I know what I want. I want Play Rough. Absolutely. I don't need Rain Dance. Uh, okay. Um... Let's see, what else do we want? Oh no, there's not much we could learn. Uh oh. Um, oh, actually, I guess that's, that's a fine move set for what we're working with. So, Azumarill, Aqua Tail, Superpower, Double Edge, and Play Rough. Full physical move set. Perfect. Now, Breloom also is physical. Let's see. I think he already has kind of a solid move set. What does he have? Let me see. Spore. We want Spore. We want Seed Bomb, Toxic, and Growth. We need to get rid of Growth. That's already a solid... Oh, uh, we need Mock Punch for the uh, priority. Mm, do we want to bring Tox or Leech Seed? or? No, I'm not going to bring Leech Seed. Yep, and Mock Punch. Perfect! And then, finally, Whale Lord. What are we doing with you, bud? 84 special, 86 attack. So we could kind of go either way. We could do a little mix set here. What does he already have? Let me check. That would be a good place to start. Heavy Slam. Oh, no! The heavier, the better. Oh, he's done. He is done. Oh, no. I'm gonna go with Rollout. I wanna get some ground coverage, just in case. We'll see. Um, What is Noble? I've never even heard of this move. Am I not even able to, like, see what it does? Wow, our, our, uh, our sets are pretty solid. I, I, I think we're good. We're going pretty full offensive. Uh, You know, um, I, I think we have a really good team. I, I, th I really think we, we don't have any comments. That's how that's how much of a flex we're bringing to this fight. 
Uh, we're definitely not, we're definitely not showing him Wailord first. We're gonna show him Azumarill first, because I feel like that's a pretty, you know, it's just uncommon. Then we'll come out with the Breloom, and he'll be like, oh no, like a Breloom. He got lucky then. Boom! Wailord! Oh, I am so excited. I'll get back to you guys, uh, when I get to where we're meeting. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, oh, I see your first Pokemon. I already seen it. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we have completed the challenge. We've caught all the Pokemon in each route, and I can see uh, Vaction's first Pokemon. <laughs> it is Azumarill. Um, and, dude, what do you think? What do you think about him? This is a uh, Golem, I, dude. I really like Golem. That's, yeah, that's a, a Golem, man. I'm, it's a it's beast. A good, it's a good Pokemon for sure. Um, all right, so uh, I'll, let you, I'll let you pick the map first or not the map. i'll let you spin first so i'm um, you have to show your pokemon first your next pokemon okay all right you ready yeah we have a breloom dude i knew you would find that <laughs> i knew you would find that i got one i got one found okay. one <laughs> all right all right all right um now all right, um for my next pokemon um i'll let you pick a number two or three three okay this one i'm hoping that this one i figured you would get a breloom so i seen this and i was like maybe this will help me against breloom and i think oh is, yeah. no yeah i was like oh, man that's gonna be pretty no. good it's, uh... okay all right <laughs> all right your next oh, one shoot. what's your last pokemon gonna be <laughs> oh man are you ready for this this is this yeah. is a big one literally my last pokemon is a well, what? <laughs> Isn't that a VR? Yeah. What? Dude. <laughs> I know, right? That is actually that's incredible. Actually, it was ridiculous. That's actually pretty good Pokemon for this channel. Yeah. I, oh no. I was I was pretty excited. <laughs> um. What you got? What's your What's your last one? My last Pokemon, um, is I'll just go ahead and throw it up. It's uh Gyarados. Yep. Oh. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh no! I, I, I was, I was so torn between going with Wailord or Gyarados. But yeah. I was like, ah, oh, you gotta go with the VR. But oh man, Gyarados is good. I didn't really get any. Um, I don't think I got a single rare, at all. Um, wow. <laughs> I actually didn't use my 100 encounters in any of the areas. I think. Uh, <laughs> Me neither. I, I think, think I did one. I think the most <laughs> encounters that I did was at the. Uh, the first one for the golem uh i didn't know if the golem, really golem i did uh i think i did maybe 60 encounters and that was my highest one but wow. there, there wasn't really like a huge variation in my areas it was just like yeah you my... have one common and that's oh. it mm -hmm. mine most of mine up until the last one were pretty diverse honestly man they were um oh. all right um yeah <laughs> let's uh i guess we're gonna do it we're gonna do a set level 50 battle for this um yep all right there i sent you the request <clears throat> all right good luck all right let's jump in oh man okay uh okay uh all right all right i'm pretty good at let's battling see. so what? good luck dude good luck <laughs> i'm not the best but uh, i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna i wonder what kind of moves you got i wonder what like if you went super standard or if you had something. Uh, Let's see. See, I almost. Oh, you have intimidate. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I thought about going. I was like, Moxie's Shoot. not really gonna help. I think intimidate's the best. <laughs> the best. That was a good one. call. That was a great. Um. Let's see. Ah, uh, I almost. I almost went for the play rough. I felt like you were gonna switch in, but then I was like, ah, just go with the safe. See, I think Waylord's gonna be a problem. Oh no, Dragon Dance. Oh, uh, uh, Gyarados know how is big. so good. Might I should have went for Gyarados, dude. That you way said what? Is, you might have should have went. Oh, okay. Dude, oh this, god, that didn't do anything. This this might be game. Oh, oh this is game. We might have to ban oh, Gyarados no. in future. <laughs> in future <laughs> yeah. <tournaments. laughs> I almost went for Gyarados, and I was like, I was like, oh, I feel like that's a little uh, um, you know, I had the Whalemer, so I, I didn't want to do it. Oh. oh no, this is not good. Okay, um. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, I think this is gonna be a quick one. <laughs> oh man. Um. All right, all right. Assume we're all. You got this. <laughs> you now, got this. I'm gonna say that you have Aqua Jet on this thing. I don't actually. Dude, I no, I, Aqua I Jet no wasn't damage. an option. Oh, that actually did some stuff right there. Yeah, it did. Um. Oh shoot. Hmm. 
Come on, it's you were all! Come on, take another one! Uh... Miss! <laughs> it's not over yet! <clears throat> okay. Uh, you don't okay. have any way to heal, so I'm gonna assume that... I almost brought Aqua Ring. I almost really did. And I was like, I won't need that. Okay. Of course. Okay, at least you don't talk Gyarados. Can you one-shot this golem, though? If it doesn't have sturdy... <laughs> Oh, oh it's faster it. than your Azumarill. How fast is Azumarill? How? Azumarill's jolly. It has... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, it only has four EV, or uh, four IV, What's but his... it's jolly. I don't know. My mom has 25, uh, 24 IVs. Uh, oh, man. Good game. Good was... game. It's the Gyarados, dude. The Gyarados really was, like, super overpowering right there. Yeah, Gyarados is good. Yeah. Uh, so disappointed. I'm so sorry if you were team vaccination. <laughs> All right, but if you are team vaccination, it might not be over yet. If you haven't already watched it, guys, there is another video exactly like this one over on his channel. You guys can click the link in the description, and you can click this card at the top. And uh, I, I think that's it for today's video, vaccination. You got anything to say? No, I had a great time. Thanks so much for uh, making a video with me. I hope awesome. everybody enjoyed yeah we plan on doing a lot more of these in the future with other youtubers as well um so hope you got the video if you did leave a like subscribe and we will see you in the next one thanks for watching